No problem, man. No problem at all, man. Thanks for having me. No, seriously, it, it, it's it's an absolute honor to have you. So, so thank you very much. Thank um, you, thank you. So, Moses, first question, I guess the primary question. Uh, what was it that made you decide to go into acting? Oh, man, it was something that um, I always wanted to do. But, you know, because I, I grew up in a small town, I was born in um, Aiken, South Carolina, in the middle of nowhere. You know, I had no idea like, <laughs> how I would go about by doing it, where to go. And like I had nowhere to had no idea where to start, you know, and um to, and to mm-hmm. add on top of it, you know, I was I was morbidly obese back then too. So, you know, like for me it was Seriously? Just, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, I used to weigh three hundred pounds, bro. I used to weigh three hundred pounds, man. Yeah, yeah. And um yeah, for me it was no. just like I always just, yeah, but yeah. That's <laughs> the same. Was, I I, I'm stopping. sorry, I can't picture that. <laughs> man, I got the pictures and I'll tell I'll you before and after, man. They're intense. But yeah, um, it was always something that I never liked thought seriously it was just something you know like I, like a dream or something you know that I just put in the back of my head but um but when, when I moved to Georgia you know I started um uh you know changing my eating habits and I started working out more and you know I, my body started to you know um change and started to you know um get I get in better shape and uh one day man I was um I got I was working out my regular job back then I was um you know I was uh, doing retail and I would have random customers, you know, come up to me and say, hey, you know, you got a nice look, you know, you should look into modeling and stuff. And, you know, I never really took it serious. I was like, okay, thanks, you know, whatever. <laughs> but, uh, you know, in the back of my head, I was still, you know, in that same old mindset of not thinking I'm good enough, you know. But, um, you know, people would give me cards here and there, you know, for whatever reason, I would collect them, you know, just hang on to them. And um, one day I just decided to call up some of the people and just to see, you know, exactly what it was and, you know, if it was legit. You know, a couple of them were legit and a lot of them weren't. But for the couple that were, um, ended, I ended up ended up leading me to get into modeling, like Levi, um, American Eagle, and I did a couple print wow. jobs for, um, yeah, for um, Hostel and for um, Air, um, um, Air Postal and stuff like that. And um, I was, you know, I, I started doing it pretty consistently and, you know, I was having fun with it. But I got my first acting job walking out of um, college at Georgia State University. A girl stopped me and she asked me if I wanted to be in a movie, you know, and at first I was like, <laughs> you know, what, what kind of like, what are you talking about? You know, I'm thinking this is somebody's basement, <laughs> something crazy, you know. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. But it ended up being the movie um, Joyful Noise with uh, Queen Latifah and Dolly Parton. And um, and they were looking wow. for people to, yeah, yeah. And they were looking for people to do like background stuff and, you know, um, everything like that for a club scene. You know, I was out of class mm-hmm. and something just said, you know, just go for it, just do it, man. And um, I went ahead and I did it and I got hooked. And um, after that, they the casting people, I met a lot of them and they started sending me um, uh, different breakdowns and different um, opportunities for other jobs. And I just started submitting and submitting and pretty soon I just worked my way up to where I am now, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's absolutely phenomenal. Um, it was almost like it was the pieces fell into place, you know, it, it, did, it's it, like did. it was your, almost, I mean, some people say it's destiny, you know, I, I'm a believer in destiny. Yeah, it's almost like you're, you are meant to fall man. into it. Man, so yeah, it's like when you set, like when you set your, your intention, man, and just let back and let God handle it, like everything will fall into place. You know what I mean? You just got to go on with yeah. that intention and that right energy and just get all that negativity out and it'll work out man that, that's what that's yeah what yeah ex- exactly that's that's yeah, uh, exactly. that's exactly how, how how i would go for it um exactly. so of course uh i as as a follow you on social media so you attend a lot of conventions uh we see do, you doing do, a lot yeah, of yeah. signings um what yeah. is it about the conventions that you seem to really enjoy so much i mean i love meeting people man i love meeting people and you know having them you know, admire, you know, the work that I've been a part of and, you know, just talking with people about, you know, acting and, and even pursuing their goals. You know, I love inspiring people because I'm a writer too. I have two books out on Amazon now um, and, and they're about manifesting the life that you want and you know, training your mind to work for you, not against you. And, um, you know, mm-hmm. I love talking with people and just, you know, speaking with them, you know, not just as, you know, an actor, but as a fan, because I'm a fan of a lot of the shows that I've been in too. <laughs> So it's yeah. like just talking about how crazy and amazing a lot of them are. It's just, it warms my heart, man. I just love, you know, speaking to people about stuff I love to do myself. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm I'm a big attendee of uh, a lot of the conventions. Um, I've attended awesome. the previous ones for especially The Walking Dead. Um, awesome. And it's, it, for, for the show, I've met actors from a lot of TV shows, but there's something about The Walking Dead where it almost feels like a, not just with the actors, but the fans. It's a really like family orientated thing. It is. It is definitely. It is. Yeah. It's like it's so interpersonal. Like people like they dedicate their Sundays to it. You know, it's like a lot of families. Yes. They've told me like that's the thing that brings everybody together. You know what I mean? That's the mm-hmm. thing that 
gets everybody to come together and they watch it together and they bond and stuff over it, man. So it's like, <laughs> it, just, it just warms your heart to be a part of something like that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Um, so obviously speaking about The Walking Dead, mm. how did the role come about for you? Man, it was the third thing I ever did career-wise. And um, it was, and at the time, I was just looking to get more stuff on my resume. So I was just mm-hmm. looking up casting calls and stuff. And at the time, they were still submit, allowing people to submit through the mail. So something just told me, just like, submit your, I submitted my headshot and my limited resume at the time to their casting, to their casting um, uh, people to the mail. And um, like two weeks later, man, I got a phone call at 4 a.m. And they were <laughs> like, hey, man, this part just opened up. Do you want it? You know, and at first I was like, you know, like, okay, cool. You know, because I was half asleep too. So I was like, okay, awesome. Thank you. And, you know, when I woke up the next morning, I thought I dreamed it, you know, but then when I looked (laughs) at my email, it was like a confirmation with, you know, where to go and what time. And I was like, holy crap, I did, I did dream. Okay, cool. And Mm -hmm. um, it was that next day I went down to the studio and, you know, met everybody I needed to. And they walked me through everything and um, told me, okay, this is what we need you to do. And asked me if I'd be able to do it. And I was like, sure, you know, And and I ended up shooting with them for about two, three weeks. And um, it just grew into this this huge thing, you know, because like I had no, I, I didn't know anything about the show when I shot with them. Like I knew nothing about it. Oh, so wow. like after I, yeah, after, after I went back, after I got done filming, I went back and I watched the other season and I was hooked, man. I was like, holy yeah. crap, this is amazing, you know? And like, actually, like when I was filming, I, I, it was, to me, it was just work and just learning, you know, because I was still new to, to um, filming. So I was just learning mm-hmm. and watching everything and seeing how they create everything. And I was just blown away by it. And um, yeah, it was like the, then after I went back and watched it, then I became a fan of it. And it was just like, I was so blown away and so like just honored to be a part of it. And like, cause I was, when I was on set, people would be coming up to me and saying, wow, do you know who you were? Like you were important. I was like, okay, whatever. I was a zombie, whatever, you know? I wasn't yeah. thinking cause I didn't know the story, you know? But then when I went back mm-hmm. and watched it, I was like, oh no, that's who I was. That's cool, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Was, I, I, had a, yeah, I had a deeper appreciation for it after I watched it. But yeah, it was awesome, man. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah exactly i mean i think mike mike especially it, he he was such a pivotal role in in michonne's whole story and her life exactly, you know and i think exactly. i think it was also it's the first time i believe that we've seen a zombie being used in that On kind of way because, as well yeah. yeah 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 exactly exactly yeah it's like michonne taught them like you guys are the ones in control, you know, you can't let them control you. You got to be the one controlling them, you know, yeah. and she, she showed people like you can, you know, you can be tough, you know, don't be afraid of them, you know, <laughs> like, like she taught a lot of people that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So a, a question yeah. I have, this is kind of a personal question for me. I'm a little bit fascinated awesome. by it. Um, awesome. What did you do with your arms? <laughs> well, they, uh, they put, hey, it was so funny though, when they, when they told us what they were going to do, I was like, there's no way y'all can do that. But then when I saw yeah. it, I was like, holy crap, that's awesome. But um, yeah, they put us um, in green screen and blue screen sleeves and they removed them with TGI. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I must, that so must we have been be complete, crazy yeah. for the movements as well. Yeah, it was like we had to keep our arms as completely still as we could, but still contort our bodies to make it, you know, like we were dead <laughs> and, you know, everything. So it was a workout, man. But like, yeah, yeah it was like we had to keep our arms completely still while they took them out with CGI. But yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, so what what was it kind of like on set, o- on the set of The Walking Dead? How because I imagine even at that time it must have been a, such a huge production. How, how it was, was it for like, you? Yeah, it was it was it was a really big production, and like for me, it was just like it was just really exciting getting the chance to meet a lot of the actors and you know to learn and everything as how, how things are done. And it was just like, it was because I was still, like I said, new to filming. So it was just really like an awesome opportunity and just a really big learning thing for me. Because like I met a lot of, um, not only just the actors, but the, the producers and stuff too. And, you know, I met Greg, Greg Nicotero and he was just amazing. And like he <laughs> yeah. basically, you know, taught, um, taught, taught us like how to walk like zombies. Like he told us like how we should, what we should think in, in mind when we're doing it. And, you know, just learning from him and just being around so many people that create things. It was, it was, it was mind blowing, man. It was, it was incredible. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's I mean that's this gonna be quite a hard act to follow, I suppose, from from the walking dead. I mean right, it, it right. seems to be a lot of people's dreams to get onto that that show. So so I mean I yeah, think you're, yeah. you're in six six episodes, I believe. Yeah, about six episodes, yeah. And yeah. it was filmed, you said over two to three weeks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, that's that's uh 
that's that's pretty incredible to be honest. I think it's um it's a great way to start into your into your career. Um, exactly, blessing, blessing, man, definitely. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And and, and the thing as well is you've you've definitely followed that up with the big Thank shows you. you've been on because you've then gone on to Thank be you. on the Watchmen and Queen of the South. Yeah, so that is yeah that is absolutely something special. Um, so tell Thank tell you. me about what it was like to be in uh both the Watchmen and Queen of the South. Oh uh, man, it, they were both like incredible opportunities. Um, for uh, Queen of the South, I did that one first. Um, we shot that in New Orleans, and you know, with my agent, uh, well, I had auditioned for them uh, three times before for other roles, and it just so mm-hmm. happened to be that third time that I ended up getting the role of TikTok on there. So I was yeah. like, finally, yes, you know, because like that was again another show I didn't know anything about, but a lot of people mm-hmm. told me about it, and I was like, okay, I really want to, you know, I really want to do this, and, you know. And after I got booked for it, that's when I went back and watched the other seasons again. And again, yeah. hooked, man. Amazing yes. show, amazing show. <laughs> but yeah, just working with everyone, um, uh, tuning in New Orleans was the first for me, and that was incredible. Me and Alicia Braga, because I had a huge crush on her too. And she's like amazing. <laughs> like, just so I think beautiful, a lot of people so do. Nice. <laughs> man, I'm telling you, she's amazing, man. She's beautiful and such a badass, man. So mm, yeah, yeah, she's so awesome. And like, the, um, you know, and um, a lot, a lot of other actors I work with, they're all just amazing people in the cast and the crew, just, um, just incredible people. And, um, it was just like for me to be a chance to be to play a bad guy because that was the first time I got to play like a really bad guy. So yeah. that was really fun and and getting in the um the fight scene with Alicia Braga and everything was just like <laughs> it was a, it was just incredible man. Just yeah, everything was choreographed and everything, but it was a lot of fun. Like it was just it was it was awesome. And I shot there for about a week too, so it was just exciting getting a chance to be in the element in the world of the element and just being a part mm-hmm. of the big show. And for um also for me for Watchmen was just like enormously amazing because yeah. I was a fan of the movie, you know, and I, yes. didn't, I didn't know they were doing the TV show, you know, and when I auditioned for them, they didn't even tell us what it was. It had a secret name, a secret everything. So like <laughs> when I went well, in doing my monologue, you had to do an in-person, um, in-person uh, audition. So when even when I did my monologue for them, I had no idea what it was about, what I was doing. I just had to act it out and just, you know, whatever. <laughs> and um and there was that next day my agent called me and said yeah you booked it and then that's when i found out what it was and i was like oh my god because <laughs> i love this i love the movement and i and i didn't know they were doing the show so when i found that out man i just i, I, I lost it you know and, and it was and like when i got a chance to shoot with them it was just amazing and that was actually probably the first time i felt like a real actor because like of everything i had to do like for one they turned me into a hologram and i learned how they do that which is amazing and like yeah. when I had to do my monologue for them, I had to balance myself on a on a on a beam ten feet up in the air. So like <laughs> if I fail, I was going to be falling for a while. And then yeah. I had had an emo- had an emotional monologue I had to do, and I had no one to talk back for, talk back with. So I had but the only thing my eye line was was a red X across the room. So I had to deliver my mm-hmm. monologue, an emotional monologue, to a red X <laughs> while balancing myself on a beam in the air. So for me, it was like I had to really focus and really try and then take my mind to somewhere else. And, you yeah. know, really doing that and getting into the mode, it was like it, it was a, it was mentally it was a, it was a challenge, you know. So like that was the moment where I really felt like, wow, I really feel like acting today, you know. And it was Absolutely. just amazing to be a part of it, man, because like the series was phenomenal. The only thing I hate is they didn't do a second season, but it makes sense because it ended so perfectly, you know. So I'm not I'm not too bitter about it, but it was it was incredible, man. Just a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, as you said, I think sometimes it's it's best to end a show on a high rather than it kind of being a bit pushed exactly. out a little bit. Exactly. You you want you want to go out on top, you know, and that's what it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Are exactly. you a fan of the DC universe and oh, like superheroes? Hundred percent. I mean, that's that that's on my bucket list to be a superhero or a supervillain for DC or Marvel. I've auditioned for a couple of different things with them, so you know, I'm hoping one day. But like, yeah, man, I grew up. Superman was always my favorite um, superhero. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Man, superhero. Yeah, all day, man. Um, but see, and I love the Marvel movies. See, I think that Marvel does movies better than DC, but DC does TV shows better than Marvel. You know, so it's like to be I a totally part agree. of. Yeah, yeah, to be a part of any of that, man, would just be like amazing. Like, just really be amazing for me. Yeah. Uh, I, I imagine that's. I mean, even for me, I'm not even an actor, and even I'm like, oh, maybe one day, one day I might. Yeah, get man, something. you can do it, man. <laughs> you can do it, man. It'll happen, man. It can happen. Yeah, for you. Yeah, uh, fantastic. Um, yeah. So, I guess leading on to that, um, who are your inspirations in acting? Have they sort of changed over time, or or you still got yeah. certain people that you really think that's somebody who I aspire to be like? 
man, consistently, man, it's been um, people like Denzel Washington for me, um, Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, oh, gosh, um, I love, um, oh, God, blanking. The late great chat with, uh, chat with Brosman. Bro, um, he was amazing, man. And I, and, um, mm-hmm. I got a chance to um, um, be in the same movie as him, movie 42. I did that with him and I got a chance to meet him briefly. And he just, he was an incredible person, man. I'm just like, I, it's heartbroken that he, you know, he's gone so soon. But, you know, just of meeting course. people like him, is just, it inspires you to push and be the best you can be. Cause like, he made such a huge impact so quickly, you know, and just like, he could have been like, it, it could have been so much even bigger, you know, if he was still, you know, around. So to be, mm-hmm. to, to inspire to be someone like him that can make a huge impact so quickly, it's just like, wow, you know, you, it's, it's going to be amazing. But yeah, man, it's a, it's a lot of actors like I look up to. Definitely Denzel, um, Leonardo DiCaprio, um, uh, oh God, blanking on my boy Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp, like they're amazing. <laughs> of people. course, yeah. Yeah, like oh man, because yeah, like for them, for me, it's like Will Smith, another one. It's like for me, oh, like they've made, they're remained mine. consistent. <laughs> man, it's amazing. Man. Like for me, they've remained consistent throughout years, throughout decades. You know, it's like every mm-hmm. performance they do, it's always something amazing, always something good. Keanu Reeves, another one. It's always something yes. good, you know. It's like they stay consistently good, you know, and, and I and I admire that about them. I really do. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I mean, like you said, a lot of those people you listed off with Leo and Johnny Depp. I felt like uh, imagine yeah. for yourself as well. Um, you kind of grow up seeing what they they do, and and seeing exactly. how, as you said, consistent they they just seem to smash everything that they do. It's just something else. Everything, exactly, exactly, man. Al Pacino, another one. Charlie Theron, <laughs> Holly Berry, love her. He was crushing her too. Like, dude, it's like, they're just like, like they choose like so well what they do and they do it so mm-hmm. well. It's like, you can't help but admire like any movie they, they, they're they in. It's like, even if I don't understand the movie, I'll go watch it just because they're in it and you know it's going to be good, you know, because their performances are always, they always stand out. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. And I think with yeah. that as well, they must get such a, a huge amount of, of people wanting them in their movies. So, you know, when they've selected Definitely. something, it's got to be something special. Definitely. Viola Davis, another one, love her all. She's amazing. <laughs> Oh my god, I can I can talk about her all day. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> so, Definitely. so would you say yeah. then uh, a lot of those people on that list, or if there's anybody else in particular that you would really like to work with? Oh man, yeah, pretty much everybody on that list, man. Um, and even yeah. adding a couple of directors, Steven Spielberg, uh, Christopher Nolan. Like, I love Christopher Nolan's movies. Like, they make you think so much. You yes. know, it's like yes. the Tenant recently. You know, it was amazing. Like, oh my god, uh, David Washington, or Denzel Washington's son. They mm-hmm. killed it amazing robert patterson yeah. um other ones in it they did so well and it's like the movies like this movie you have to pay attention to everything <laughs> otherwise you're not gonna you're not gonna know what happened you know it's like of course it's, yeah. I mean, it's just incredible you know and it's like you go back and watch it a hundred different times and it's like every time you see something new you miss and now something else makes sense now it's like it's just, <laughs> i love those type of directors and those type of actors that really make you think and get engulfed in the movies yeah yeah mm-hmm. inception another one of my favorite movies do inception i watched that movie something. so many times <laughs> yes. it's like it makes you think about everything it's like even the ending you're like okay is that real you know it's still kind of spinning but it wild with a little bit and it's like you don't know yeah you just don't know man. absolutely yeah, definitely, definitely definitely yeah so uh, speaking to you uh, so i get the kind of feeling then that you're your taste in movies is quite like vast. Is there a is there a particular yeah, yeah. genre that you you really enjoy the most as a oh, fan? Man. I would say. Yeah. Okay. Um, definitely horror. I grew up loving horror and watching horror as a kid, yes. and like I've consistently through my life, I've loved horror, and and it's never going to change. But I definitely like um you know the mystery um type of movies, the the um mm-hmm. the action adventure and stuff like that. Like I love the Expendables franchise. <laughs> It's like so yes. much action, so much boom, boom, boom. It's like you're like, oh, oh, you know, you can't keep up with it. And like, I love that feeling. I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've, it's funny enough, like I said, it's a uh, horror for me. Horror is my, it is my, my absolute love. Um, and I just Definitely. feel like the more I'm looking into it, how great, you know, the 70s and the 80s were for horror. So um, amazing. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is, is there a particular franchise in specific you really enjoy the most? Oof, man. Oh, man. I got so many. Uh, and I'm putting you on the spot a little bit. <laughs> I know, I know, man. Oh, man. I love Star Wars. Star Wars, like, mm-hmm. I'm just blown away by Star Wars. Um, the Mandalorians recently, it's like, I'm so pumped up for everything that's coming after that. It's just like, as a kid inside, I'm just like, I just, I, I don't know what I feel, you know? It's like, I'm so ready mm-hmm. for it, you know? Um, I've loved, uh, uh, I've got the, all the Marvel movies, like, the whole franchise it's like that's my childhood like i love it you know i, I pray mm-hmm. to be a part of it one day you know truly do 
and I can't wait for the new Eternals movie. You know, uh, it's just <laughs> it's so much to that universe that like it can never end. You know, it can just keep on growing. And, and like I've always loved it. So definitely Marvel, definitely Star Wars. Um, love the Expendables. You know, the those three, those four <laughs> movies, and they have the fourth one coming out. And I can't wait to see that. Yes. And everybody who's going to be in it. Like, oh my God, man. Like, it's, it's so many, but uh, yeah, I definitely, those are definitely some of my top favorites. Yeah. That's, that's incredible. Yeah. But to be honest with you, I, I think your, I, you know, your energy and I think your passion and drive into acting, I think is going to drive you to do anything you want to do, honestly. Thank you so um, much. Thank you so much. I, I, I sincerely mean that. You know, I'm, I, you know, you're, it, it, it's a great thing because I see you on social media all the time and you're such a positive, outgoing person. Yeah. And it, it is, it, it, it inspires other people to really push out there and, and chase the things they want to do as well. I just feel like Thank I had to so say much, that yeah. to you. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's one thing like I've learned through my years because like I've come from humble beginnings, you know, I come from nothing. So for me, it was changing your mindset that did it for me that allowed me to do a lot of things that I'm doing now. And it's just like it all starts with your intention. You know, it's like you can come from a damaged, messed up situation, but you don't have to stay there. You know, it's just all about what you decide you want to entertain. Because when you truly understand what your power is and how great you can truly be, that's when you realize it's like, I don't have to wait for something out here to happen before I feel it in here. You know, it's like you can go in with that, 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 that secure mindset and that secure feeling and you can feel so heavily about it to the point where you think it's real. And eventually you maintain that long enough, it's going to become real. That's how you create, you know, and you've got to stick with it. You've got to ignore the negativity. <laughs> Get it out of your life, like mm -hmm. take it out, get rid of that baggage and just focus on what you want, man. It'll happen. It'll happen. You don't have to know how. That's the beautiful part. Of it. You don't have to know how. It happens. Go yeah. to the finish line. Go to the finish line. Stay in the finish line and everything else gonna follow, man. Definitely. Honestly, I, I couldn't have put that better myself. I think I think the people that, that view this, I think, are gonna really, really draw something from that. So thank you for that. Okay. Thank um, you, thank you. One other thing. So as we said before, you you're very active mm -hmm. with conventions. Is there yeah. a crazy story or a crazy autograph they've asked for or a photo that you have that really sticks in your brain the most? Oh, man. Oh, God. Okay. It's been a couple because, like, um, I've had a couple of people get, like, you know, my zombie tattooed on them. And I've had a couple of people ask me to sign it. And they've gotten a tattoo of my signature on, on over the, um, over <laughs> the, uh, the zombie picture. So that, to me, was yeah. insane. I've had, that, I've, had, I've had that happen a couple of different times. Another one I say in the mail, you know, if there's any kids watching, I'm sorry, but um, I had a lady, uh, I had a lady send me her undergarments in the mail and she wanted me to sign them for her. And I did. And I sent it back. And to me, that was just, I felt like a rock star that day. Man. I did. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's the second couple of other times, but like people always bring their, you know, um, their personal items and action figures and stuff. And like, that's always mm -hmm. amazing. Like, because I'm still blown away to this day that I have action figures made out of me, you know, and it's just like, that's just, <laughs> that's I, never, that's I never thought about that, you know, so soon, you know, and for it to happen that quickly, it's just like, wow, you know, like, no, thank you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take it, you, know, you must like, own, you must own that, the action figures. Dude, like, man, mom, I gave them all to my mom and my grandma, like, because they wanted them, yeah. so, like, I'm not good at hanging on to stuff, because <laughs> I'll just give stuff away, so I gave most of them to them, man, like, and they had No, I think that's them. the best, like I yeah, said, I think yeah. if, I, like I said, it's, um, if, if I was in your situation, it, it would have ended up going a long time ago. <laughs> so Yeah, that's man, yeah, that's how I do it, man. Yeah. Like uh -huh. I said, it, it'll preserve it for the future. Definitely, exactly, exactly, yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, one other thing is, are there any up-and-coming projects that you have? Yeah, man, um, I just got done working on a new BET show. Well, it's um, season, th season three of it, actually, BET Tales. And it's an anthology that's um, been going on for um, three seasons now, and it's been amazing. And um, I co-starred on an um, episode with them, and I cannot wait for it. I hope it's going to air this year or early next year, but it's going to be incredible. And I know it's going to make a lot of waves. But um, I also did, I did my first voiceover commercial this year, too, for um, Pine Saw Cleaner and, um, and Pandora Radio. So that's been airing and doing circulation, and I'm really happy about that and just blown away because that was on my book in this man to, to do a voiceover commercial so to get there to do that was like whoa yeah and um i also just got done working on um the show the resident on fox and um, mm -hmm. um that's gonna um i had a co-star role on that and hopefully and that's gonna air um sometime this month or next month and i'm always auditioning for new stuff man and um yeah just looking for my yeah. next stuff yeah definitely, definitely. yeah you definitely yeah. have to put out a post when it when it's when it's due to be airing because i definitely have to keep an eye out for that Definitely will, man. Definitely will, man. Definitely. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, I guess the, the final question we have, I, I won't keep you too much longer. Again, I know you're 
okay. we're incredibly busy. I'm, I think we only have about 40 minutes on here anyway. Um, I'll go, yeah, I'll go. Um, future goals. What, what are your future goals, whether it's in acting or in, in your personal life? Oh, uh, man, uh, definitely to just inspire and empower as many people as I can. You know, I, of course, I want to be in Marvel and DC, you know, be mm-hmm. a superhero. That's, that's my goal. <laughs> that's, always, that's always a child goal, man. Um, definitely yeah. that. And like I said before, I'm a writer and I already have about two books now on um, Amazon and I'm working on my third one now. So um, I definitely wow. want to finish that hopefully this year and just do more, man. Cause like to my, to my writing, I feel like I can reach so many people and I've had a lot of people who've gotten my book, they've contacted me back and they told me how much it's helped them and how much it's inspired them and motivated them to, you know, start training their mind to work for them. And like, to me, that's been like the most humbling thing I've ever experienced. You know, to know mm-hmm. I wrote something that actually helps someone in their life. But it's a man, it's just to keep on helping people and inspire people and, you know, keep on living the best life that I can and mm-hmm. just, you know, motivate people and show them, you know, you can come from nothing and still end up with everything you want, you know, and still be humble with it, you know. And I, I just wanted to just keep on inspiring people, man, and just have, living the best life I can. Yeah. Absolutely. Would, would this public speaking kind of cry out to you? Yeah, it does. Man. I've done it a couple <laughs> of times and like, it's something that I, I, that's also something I really want to get into. But for me, mm-hmm. it was like, I got so into my writing and stuff that I kind of like let it go to the back burner, but it's definitely something yes. that's on my bucket list. That I'm I, I can see that. I can definitely yeah, yeah, see yeah. that. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah. Cause like I get into a lot of stuff at conventions and before I know it, I got a crowd of people coming around me and I'm just talking about, you know, some of my personal experiences and the stuff that I've mm-hmm. gone through. And like before I know it, I'm like, okay, wow. Like I didn't know all you guys were listening. Like, cool, you know, <laughs> And it's just like, it just feels like it's something, you know, my next thing that I could do that I think would be really beneficial to people. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. I, I, to be honest, I, I cannot wait to see what, what you're, what you're going to be, be posting in next. And, and I, I, I just see, I genuinely see some, some big things coming your way. Um, I, I believe you. you put positive energy out there and I, I truly believe you, you get it in return and it's going to be fantastic. Definitely. I can't watch to see what your career goes from here. Yeah, I appreciate it, brother. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. No problem. Um, so I guess that's going to be it. Um, we've, like I said, we've, we've run about the 40 minutes. Um, once okay. again, Moses, thank you so much for, for the opportunity to talk to you today. Um, and I'll, no and like I said, this video will go up on the channel and the post soon. So I'll make sure people check out the books. Awesome, man. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. So guys, thank you so much for checking out this interview with Moses. Uh, once again, I want to thank Moses so much for the opportunity to interview him. A really inspiring person feel the vibe to really go and push out for the things you want to do in life and if you put the effort in you will become rewarded for it also guys don't forget to check the top links in the description below they are going to be the links to moses's books that he's been talking about that he's written and published so make sure you check them out in the description below i cannot wait to bring you guys some more interviews and i'll see you guys next time take care bye